Welcome to the Partner Business Technical Support Team. My name is Phil. I'll be providing you a quick overview as to how you go about programming a 6 o'clock a.m. off schedule and a 6 o'clock p.m. on schedule for a CCT 15854 time clock. So to program it, the first thing you need to do is enter into the program mode. So you just go menu, program OK, new schedule OK. We, this has been reset to default, so we've got the maximum number of schedules we can load into this. So for the morning schedule, we're going to have it turn off, so we select off, press OK. Schedule will go 6 o'clock in the morning. Now this is 24 hour time. Press OK. Don't have to worry about the minutes because we want it to occur specifically then. And we select the first day, so we'll go Monday. If you want to copy that across a number of days, all you need to do up the top here, I was pointed at it with the, up the top here you've got copy. You have two options, copy or save. I want to copy that through from Monday through to Friday, so I go copy press OK, go add to Tuesday, add to Wednesday, add to Thursday, add to Friday, don't want it Saturday, don't want it Sunday, so I press the across arrow, then save. So once I've pressed the across arrow past Sunday, comes up with the option of save, press OK, and that's now saved. So we've done the morning schedule to turn those lights off, so the light's going to be on at night time and we want in the morning for the lights to be turned off. We're going to do a another schedule here to turn the lights on at 6 o'clock at night time. So I go new, yep, I've got 55 available. The I want the lights to turn on, so press OK to that. And just for speed what I usually do, I'll just hit the back button, go to 18, which is 24 hour time for 6 o'clock p.m. Press OK. Don't worry about the minutes. Select OK for Monday, and I want it to occur from Monday through to Friday, so I just follow the same steps. So up the top, it's currently set to copy. Press OK. Add to Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Don't worry about Saturday, Sunday, so I just hit the right arrow. I've hit the right arrow until it comes up with save, press OK, and that's now saved. So the next step would obviously be uh, if you have to leave site, get the customer just to give you a call to let you know whether it has worked or hasn't worked uh, at those specific times. Uh, and that should be basically it. If you have any more questions regarding this, please feel free to contact the Technical Support Department. If you do wish to contact the Technical Support Department, just get in contact with one of your Schneider Electric representatives and they'll put you through to the tech support. Uh, for more information, please refer to the installations for instructions. They have some details in relation to it.